Hi, welcome back to SAB Business Object Processing Framework series. So in the last session, we modeled the uh, change log determination, the admin determination, standard determination to capture the you know, change, uh, the creation as well as the user who changed the record in our business object. So today we see how we can test the determination. Let's open the TCO uh, transaction code BOB test UI so this is our business object and let's load by instance by query select all we load all the instance save ok yeah so let's select the second entry where our date and time creation user ID and everything is blank and select the record and use the option test edit to lock our instance so now we can see it's been edit mode um, let's change the phone number you can see all these fields are editable okay which is i don't want to type the value manually here so what i'm going to do i'm going to just change the information here as um, zero as a phone number okay so want to make sure that zero as a phone number so it's a three two zero now that has been changed so let's press the save okay and see what's happening it see now all these date and the user id and the time change time as well as the change user it's been updated correctly in my record let's edit the record one more time and we try to put it back the phone number as something different and let's press save you can see the date of creation it's differ from your date of change so it has a different information so if the record is already populated so the first time since you don't have any information so it's capturing the current system date and time the user id information once the creation has been updated so after that, whenever you change the record, only the change timestamp and the change user will be updated, not the creation. So that's the way this determination is going to work. So thank you for the testing. And let's see the next session and how we can disable these attribute as a the st static attribute of this attribute, uh, date, time, user ID, change, user ID and date and time. So to make it as a read only field the property via the property animation thank you all